You already know what you're in for. Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 4. In this episode of our season, as Brandon Jones, the fucking if, we're going to be completing race 21, and that is the BL Transport 170 at Mid-Ohio. I fucking hate this track, mostly because of turn 3. I can never decide when to break there. I just guess at it at this point. They ain't got no benchmarks. They ain't got nothing to tell you when to hit the brakes here. I mean, it's a little easier on Road America. I think it's... You, you've got a lot more advertising, and the walls are closer. I don't know. Something about that track. I can actually figure out when I want to hit the brakes. But but here, I, I, I can't do it. We got Mike Lynette, who fell into third after the last race, and he's now just one point behind Tyler Reddick. And Cole Custer, I thought he was going to get in second, but it turns out he's just under this blanket with these three guys. Chris Bell fell into seventh. And Ryan Sieg is in 12th still. And Jeffrey Earnhardt is still in 17th. So that's nice. But we're going to be using this yellow Menards car. Because I don't like this car very much. And I really don't like this track very much. Here I come in these last couple of corners. Down the front straightaway. We're going to start our first lap of qualifying. Or one only lap of qualifying. There's pretty much one lap at every track except for super speedways. And I don't know why they do that at super speedways. Because I feel like you can accomplish the same shit on your own at a super speedway in reality and then, you know, it's unnecessary. We hit the brakes. Why it starts getting a little dark right here? I, I think that's where I would like to. See, I can figure that out. The other little tire marks starts getting dark. You feel the groove. Okay, off that corner. Oh, uh, got a little loose there. Off that corner, okay. A yellow banana on the outside of the track. I guess it's just so you can keep the car from just driving off just automatically. You hit the brakes right here. Uh, that was early. At least it ain't late. If it's late, you're losing a lot more time. At least if you ask me. I'm going to try to arc it into this corner. So I ain't going so wide. I have a better entrance to this next one. It's not turning. Why? It's not turning. I don't like that. Honda. What else races here aside from the Xfinity Series? Because the Xfinity Series does not have Hondas yet. I heard there's a possibility that Acura might be coming in here. So, yeah, I mean, Acura is the American uh, off-brand Honda. So, like, what else races at Mid-Ohio? I don't know anything about this track aside from the fact that the Xfinity Series races here, and I hate it. Okay, so we're getting some good corners. Aside from turn three being a little early, it's been a good lap. The car is much tighter in this last curve right here than it was in the past couple of games, if I'm being honest. So, full lap time is a minute and 22. We got a minute and 26.8, so that's 4.4 uh, seconds off. 18th. Uh, the first corner is a left turn, so we're going to be on the outside of the first turn, unless I can get to the inside. Uh, Justin Haley is going to be starting on my inside. John Jackson is going to be starting right behind me with uh, John Nardimacek. Who's on the pole? Brandon Brown. I wish it was Brandon Jones. I can't believe I'm saying that. I wish Brandon Jones was starting from the pole. Okay. Uh, Chris Bell starting fourth. That is nice to see. Hopefully he can make some moves and finally win a race. It would be a nice showcase of talent if he could win at this track. I mean, in, in my opinion, it would be. Um, what about the other drivers on my team? They qualify in bad again? Ryan Seek, 29th. Jeffrey Earnhardt, 35th. Are they just not good at road courses? I didn't know about this crap. Oh, my goodness. Uh, 17th, so never mind. We're, we're to the inside. So who got sent to the back? Also, my setup is on plus one, loose. But that did not stop it from getting tight in some corners. John Jackson has been dominant all weekend. But... He's not starting on pull, so why would you say that? Elliot Sadler got an engine change. Okay. And Cole Custer stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't actually read that one. My phone is like way more off to the left to record the face cam this one than it usually is. As in, like it's covering like the right side of the screen a little bit. So that's just what I use for my face cam with my phone. So we're to the inside. Let's see if we can pass one of these guys in turn one. Okay, we're a little tight. Rub up with Justin Haley. And pull, right, pull in right here. This is John Jackson. It's not him right there in the 13 car behind me, so he's not dominant. What the hell are you talking about? Just break a little late. Try to gain some ground. I keep it to the inside. I want to go. I want to go. Go, 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 go. Oh, boy. Eat that. Their cars don't do that. It shifts gears and just does that. If they were shifting down, you're on the brakes out of road course. And, yeah, if you remember, like, the u Texans games that happen all the time. But here it's, like, inverted, and I don't like it. Okay, well, they're starting to get on the brakes. We're breaking just about the same amount, so this is good. Back to the gas. No, don't dump Greg Galding. Keep to the inside. Keep to the inside. I'm, I'm touching the, the, the peppermint strip, whatever you want to call it, the candy cane. I'm driving on the candy cane. We got candy canes and bananas. 
and that's how racing goes. I don't know what you call the white curves. Where are we going? I can't even see off the freaking hill because it's so damn high. And that, oh my god, car. Jeez. Just coming off that corner and not being able to see where I'm going. Just, I mean, I get it's blind, but if there's a hill there, then it makes it a lot worse. I kind of blame the camera being so dumb in this game. These fucking curves, they piss me off. I don't think the car should react to them that much. I'm trying to get these spots back. But yes, as I was saying, the cameras in these NASCAR heat games. Good God, just Algier. I'm gonna dump your shit. Um, like, always since NASCAR Heat, NASCAR Heat 2002, and Dirt Today Tona, the camera has been just like this, where it's really close to the back of the car. You can't see um, left and right beside you that close aside for like maybe one car. So you don't even know when you're free wide. Um, you got two cars to the outside. You figure there's just one. It sucks on online racing. It always has. Whenever you're coming down a hill and it's just this level to the ground, it does not help. And there's no far chase cam. I think there was one in Dirt Today Tona, though. Like a far chase cam way up in the air. Brandon Brown, who started on the pole, has fallen back to 10th. That's that's what I like to see. He'll hit the brakes right about there. Which I, I guess is good. Um, it's not turning. I don't like that. Turn. Okay, let's... It, it's arc it. Oh, oh, that's not arcing it. That's 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 arca ing it. Arca ing it. That's not arcing it. Okay, go. We got tenth. We we'll get one stage point. I really don't give a crap because uh, I've got such a such a, a strong gap on the, the field and standings right now. So There's two laps of the first stage. Austin Cindric is leading this thing. Uh, hopefully, Chris Rebell. Um, he could be like third place whenever we come to the restart and he can like dive and read somebody and take the lead or something. You never know what could happen. That's uh, Christopher Bell right there running like sixth or fifth, whatever that is. So I'm tenth, ninth, eighth, so I guess that's seventh. I count the cars in front of me. Uh, he's on the inside, it's a big help. You can always pass somebody that's on the outside of you. We might be passing Christopher Bell whenever we go into turn one in a bit. Wow, Th those front tires. They took that braking. I'm pretty sure they did the same thing at Watkins Glen, by the way. We got three seconds of damage. Uh, I guess that makes sense. We're just knocking people around, getting crushed together. So hopefully we don't get too much damage to the point where it's actually affecting us aerodynamically in a very bad way. I don't want to lose time on pit road for that, but we'll get four tires and enough fuel to fill the tank. I lost three positions. Why did I lose three positions? Should I have gotten less fuel? Like just three laps, you know, half a tank, I don't know. Oh wow, what a restart, that was a great restart right there. Uh, okay, 21 car over here is having issues. Okay, okay we made turn one a lot better than we did last time. A really good run off. So we might get past Christopher Bell, but until we drop back a few spots, it wouldn't be possible. It, as we're going on the straightaway, yeah, it's happening. Come on, slow it down. Okay, that, that was a good breaking point right there, that was good. Come on. Oh, we're getting the runoff. Get all sideways and shit. We have not bicycled the minivan yet. We have not done that yet. But I can assure you guys, we will. We will. It's got to happen. It's the way things are. Did they get on the brakes? Yeah, I think that's good. The guy behind me is getting on a lot later. Come on. Our hit. Dead, dead. There you go. Minivan. I'm, I'm not, come on. You see my right tire. Right, right. Turn right. Dumb fuck. The hell I was doing really good and then it did that it's like my, my curb the, the curb lifted my car off the ground and then it once it came back down it just did not want to turn in the other direction I get off the throttle get on the throttle I don't know what to do to get the car to actually do what I tell it to do oh boy this game is a lot better than Nascar Evolution and significantly better than Nascar 3 I still prefer Nascar Heat 4 more but uh, there's, I, I just, I've really got something against the way these cars get loose. Like, that changed, and did not changed for good. Um, we're okay. We did not lose a bunch of positions. We didn't have a caution come out. I forgot to put it on relaxed yellows for either of these road course races. Not that it matters. That was a good pass right there. You know, although I probably kind of drove off the track a little bit, but that, that was a good move. We're just on the brakes right about here. I keep it to the inside of this curve. This is the, the tight hairpin corner of the track. Let's go. We're ninth. See if I can maybe gain on just an Algar, but I think this is where we're going to settle for the rest of the run. As long as I don't misbreak this um, this curve. I don't have anything to judge it by. I don't have any cars. Just hit the brakes right about there. Start turning in. Don't you try it. 
John Jackson and having a dominant week in bullshit. Stop. 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 We don't need that. I hate that. I mean, it even happened in NASCAR Heat 3, but it wasn't this stupid where it was just almost every freaking corner and way worse and more sensitive. We got it. We're okay. We've, we've done it twice, and I said it was going to happen, then it started happening. I I think it happened while I was, I was doing qualifying a while ago. I'm going to show that clip. I don't remember. Come on. Let's keep it. No, 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 stop. Go away. He's so dominant. He's not dominant. He's just fast. I don't know why he starts so bad. You stop that nonsense. We're low on fuel. See, I lost positions, and we were getting low on fuel. It was like a whole freaking lap in difference to just how much there was in the tank and whatever. So, they should have run out of gas, or they should be like way lower on gas. They gotta take more gas now. I don't freaking know. I, I'm gonna be taking less gas than they are for sure. Okay, so Tyler Reddick won that stage. Look and see if he can lock himself in the playoffs just before it begins. We're gonna get four tires again. Didn't I have three seconds of damage? And I told them not to fix it. And now I've got one second of damage. Unless I, I told him to fix it without knowing it. <laughs> I don't freaking know. Okay, so yeah, we'll get one can. And I, I lost another position. I don't know what's going on. See, I, I made sure that I wasn't asking them to fix damage that time. I'm pretty sure I didn't last time either. I don't know. We got five laps to go. Starting the final stage of the race. Trying to clear this 21. Okay, come on, make turn one, though. Make turn one. And just past John Jackson. The weird good day for John Jackson. And even if it's a good day for him, he's not really making up that much ground to actually prove something about himself. Okay, underneath just now, guy are making moves. Uh we'll call that a minivan right there. I mean look more like I was riding the curb, but it looked a little bit higher off the curb than it actually should have been. We're in fifth. Well, that was really good taking of that hairpin corner. And these guys are driving them away. Let's see if I can gain a little bit right here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. We're okay. We're okay. That was horrifying. Where am I going? I'm just driving off the track. More, more, more minivans. This is a uh, Dodge Caravan. What the? Annette! Why do they do that? Like, we're side by side in a situation where we can't be side by side. I have the advantage, but they go running me off the freaking track. I'm actually being raced, so, so just to see if I can get a top five by all three of these guys. I mean, we got Ross Chastain back there. Wouldn't be anybody else. I mean, I don't want anybody else that drives the, the Flex Seal car or whatever. Uh, we got past this guy. Tires off the ground, of course. ATV offered Fury 3 with the, the new bicycling feature. Okay, so no fit for us. I'm really not that good. I'm lucky I haven't wrecked this fucking thing yet. Again, again, what, 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 what control do I have? What control do I have? And the, finally, they threw a caution. I'm eighth. Not fixing the damage. Don't have time for that. I am in the lead. But we skipped laps under caution, so that means that they didn't actually have to pit. But I'm in the lead. We're gonna lose this lead because I have no judgment of corners. I have no judgment of corners. Let's get on the track. Let's stop losing positions. I hate this fucking track. Fucking. Fuck, I hate this track. I want to get some more positions. There we go. That was that was lame. That was just major derp of, of effort. And I'm losing more positions. I have aero damage, so that's not helping. And they say I'm low on gas, but we got enough to make it to the end. Go. Go. Oh my goodness, John Jackson with the save. I'm in ninth. So I've been running all race long, actually. Okay, slow down a little bit here. Oh! That was for once the curve actually helped me make the corner a little bit. Oh, we're diving on in there. Diving it in. Getting it. That's what you do. That's how you do it. And I'm in seventh. John Jackson, what are you doing? Well, that sent him back a little bit. Chris Rebell, uh, I'm, I'm fighting for you to make sure that you get that sixth place finish. My brakes don't work. My engine doesn't work. My, my aerodynamics, gone. They're just nothing works right now. Let's just end this thing. Come on. Come on. Stop. Stop it with the fucking... It's not a minivan. It never ends. You know, block, block you. That's uh, no Graxon in an alternate paint. It's a Cessna car. When's the last time someone drove a Cessna car in the Cup Series? I remember um, Joey McMurray. Jamie McMurray having one. And he quit with that. So 
I don't know what's going on now. You gonna run me over? I mean, it's probably my fault if he does run me over, considering the fact that I'm not braking at the right time whatsoever, but I never will. Okay, no bicycle. Just drive the damn car. Okay, good. Gonna finish this race. No, no. Mm. Mm. Yay! They finished the race! They, they threw the fucking caution. It's over. I ain't gotta fucking do this shit anymore. 14th. I mean, it really doesn't even matter. Austin Sindrick won this race. Probably his third win of the season or something. So, good for you. Christopher Bell, sixth place. That's nice to see. Uh, how much progress did uh, Ryan Sieg, Jeff Earnhardt make? And it was Ryan Sieg 20th, so he moved up. And Jeff Earnhardt got 29th, so he moved up as well. Reminder, we were 60 points in front of Tyler Reddick before we did that race. And now he is 35 points behind us. So he gained 25 points in just one race. We've got five races left to do until the playoffs begin. You see all those black dots. That's where the playoffs begin. We got these uh, four gray dots, and then the red one is the next race that we have to do. So yeah, five races. And I think he gained 35 points in five races, just depending on which ones they are. If they're tracks I'm not good at, or just, you know, bad luck, then yeah, we could see it happen. I want to win this regular season championship. That's all I've got left to prove. I just didn't want to finish too badly at Mid-Ohio. 14th. <sighs> Could have been worse, but he still gained so many points on us. Chris Rebell still in 7th place. Ryan Seek still in 12th. Um, uh, Jeff Earner, I went from 17th to 19th. I hate that. I don't like it like that. Okay, so race 22. The Food City 300 at Bristol Motor Speedway. I think I'm going to use this yellow Menards car because it's going to be a night race. This car looks good at night races, at the least. And I don't know if I want to use this one or, or that one. I'll have to look back and remember to see like what happened in the other Bristol race. I think I almost won the first wrist race of the season just because of um, like their tires were wearing down and mines were coming in towards the end of the run. So who knows what could happen in this next race. Uh, road America and other road courses. So I, I guess it's, it's safe to say that we could possibly have Tyler Reddick just gaining a bunch of points on us in that race. We got Darlington. I don't know how that's going to go. Indianapolis could go good for us. Las Vegas. I'm great at Las Vegas, so we got that one in for us. The Roval. Okay, the Roval's in the playoffs. I was thinking maybe it was in the regular season, but it's not. See you next time. That's that and episode over.